we'll now study the Tyndall effect and this is something which we've done in class 9th as well so I don't think it'll be much of a problem but still we need to revise it as part of physics so let's do that so basically it is seen that if you have a colloidal solution okay, a colloidal solution basically a colloidal solution is a solution is the kind of solution which has particle size from about uh, 1 to 100 nanometers Okay, this is the particle size. Okay. And this particle size is 1 to 100 nanometer. Any solution which has this range of particle size is called one uh, is called a colloidal solution. Now, a colloidal solution can be of gases, it can be of liquids, it can be solid in liquid or liquid in solid or liquid in gas or gas in liquid, and there are different names for that, right? So basically what happens is in a colloidal solution, the particles have some considerable size. So if you take a beaker, if you take a beaker, and in that beaker, you are putting some liquid, okay, some liquid, which has some considerable size, that is 1 to 100 nanometer, right? So 1 to 100 nanometer, this is the size, okay? So what will happen? When I pass a ray of light through this, suppose I am passing some rays of light through this solution. So suppose I pass some rays of light through this solution. So what will happen? When these light rays are going to enter the solution, they are going to collide. They are going to collide with the particles of the solution which have some considerable size that is from 1 to 100 nanometer and we're going to see that these light rays are going to be scattered. So they're going to strike and they're going to scatter. So if you see again this will be scattering here and this will again scatter the light here. So if you pass even more rays of light there's going to be even further scattering. Pass another ray of light there's going to be even more scattering. If you pass another ray of light, this is going to be, suppose, what was here, this is going to be even more scattering. So if you see here, basically light is going to scatter. Okay. So light will be scattered when I pass it through a colloidal solution because the light particles are going to collide, they're going to clash with the particles of the colloidal solution and they're going to be distributed they're going to be dispersed they're not dispersed exactly they're going to be scattered so the scattering of light okay or the scattering effect when light passes through a colloidal solution okay when it passes through a colloidal solution this scattering effect which we see is what we call the Tyndall effect. Okay, it is called the Tyndall effect. Okay, so the Tyndall effect is when they are going to scatter the dust particles or the colloidal particles are going to scatter light, right? Now, this can be even seen in atmosphere, right? In the atmosphere, in the atmosphere, the dust molecules or the dust particles and gas molecules okay they are going to scatter light and they are going to produce the Tyndall effect okay they are going to produce the Tyndall effect okay so that is the Tyndall effect of a colloidal solution and in specific in our chapter we're going to discuss Tyndall effect in the atmosphere by dust particles and by gas molecules so when light is going to come they are going to absorb the light Okay, they're going to absorb the light and then scatter it in different directions, right? So, scattering of light or atmospheric scattering of light. Okay, better say atmospheric scattering of light. So, in atmospheric scattering of light, basically, the atmospheric particles, okay, atmospheric particles, will absorb the light okay so atmospheric particles that is dust molecules etc and everything they're going to absorb the light 
So after they absorb light, they are going to scatter it. So they absorb light and scatter it in different directions. Scatter it in different directions. Okay, so this is called atmospheric scattering of light. Okay, so there are two main important things here. The first is atmospheric scattering of light, that is the scattering of light uh, by atmospheric particles when they absorb the light and then they scatter it in different directions. And the second important part of the Tyndall effect, which is when scattering effect is seen when light is passed through a colloidal solution and the colloid particles are going to, uh, they're going to collide with the light particles, that is the light, uh, yeah, the light particles. And then ultimately they're going to scatter the light in different directions on the other side when we see the light will be scattered, right? An example of a colloidal solution is milk. Go home, try it. If you pass light through milk, ultimately it is going to scatter the light if it is impure milk, that is milk, slightly a lot, uh, some milk in water, right? So the Tyndall effect and atmospheric scattering of light. This was what we had to cover in this lecture and we've covered it. So thank you very much. This is it with this lecture. In the next lecture, we'll be discussing the color of the sky and also why the sun appears reddish at sunrise and sunset and white at